Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have an old friend here in our cask. It's the Abelauer Abonat, but in a new batch. Batch 69 and it's unchill filtered. It's, well, high strength, not high strength, it's really cask strength with 61.2 ABV. That's a lot, that's slightly below the typical strength you're filling raw spirit you make into the cask. This is typically 63.5. So this one is, yeah, carries no age statement. So it has to be a little bit younger due to the high alcoholic content. I tasted several batches before and the last one was in 2015, no, 14, and it was batch 45. And this one is batch 69. So these are 24 batches in between over six years. So they are filling four batches a year. Um, how many casts do they fill into each batch? I have no idea. What I typically guess is 30,000 in the last years, the sales of Eberlau rose a lot, and probably they are now around 60,000 bottles. So this is the range I estimate for this bottle, and the price is roughly 70 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. And uh, there is a tube coming with it, and there have been very old, the first batches, they came in a uh, in a green, uh, not circular, but rectangular uh, or quadratic shaped card box uh, and had a high, high label on it, a higher label on it. So these are now perhaps or probably collector's items and since a few dozen batches or say, I think they changed around 35 something, nah, that's a rough guess. No, I don't know it really. And here on these batches, uh, they add uh, a lot of information. And one is uh, matured in Spanish Oloroso sherry buds. And this one is not chill filtered. And this is one of the very few apple flowers which aren't colored, artificially colored. So this is close to the original you might get an Abelauer. So here they write, let the sherry casks add depth. We handpick Spanish sherry casks, filling them with whiskey for the first time. This means their intense flavors infuse Abonat as the years pass. Let the old ways live on. Abonat means the original in Gaelic, because we make every bottle as we would have done 100 years ago in batches the, with no chill filtering. Let the deed show, Abonet is close as you can get to tasting a dram at original cast strength at our distillery, just as our founder James Fleming would have done in 1879. Then, as now, the truth is in the tasting. Yeah, we will shortly taste this bottle, but first we have to open it with a wax seal on top. That's not that easy. Uh, the look is deep, rich amber, yeah, very much. Uh, the aroma is deep with spice, praline and spiced orange. The taste is full with black cherries, ginger and dark chocolate. The finish is long and balanced with a touch of oak. The deed is in the tasting. So, here we go. So they, they wax it, uh, put them top down and there should be a, a handle on that. No, not here, probably on the side. Again, not here. So for this case, I always have my, my screw cork opener here. And so there's an, a knife on it. And always, away from your fingers <laughs> so it you won't hurt yourself yeah done the 
There is an alcoholic note in it, 61.2, definitely a high proof whiskey. And you have to call it, whoop, don't spill a drop. Uh, in former times, they made no difference between cast strength and high proof. But in 2009, they changed the regulations in Scotland so that you had uh, to have a real cast strength if you name it cast strength. In former times, uh, they did a high proof and had all the uh, ABV constantly adjusted to 60%, probably, for example, and then called it cast strength. No, today uh, you have to uh, write high strength or high proof on it if you add water. So this is really cast strength and therefore uh, the alcoholic content of the bottles change from batch to batch as well as the color changes from batch to batch. So first I'm doing some smelling on it, uh, but I will not touch my tongue with 61.2. The alcoholic note on top, of course, and then lighter fruitiness like cherries, some apple, some vanilla as well, caramel showing through, oranges appearing. Yeah, too much alcohol. So coming down below 50 means 15 to 20% of that whiskey as water. And then you see those marks in the whiskey that means that the alcohol and the water does not mix immediately. It takes quite a time until uh, the mixture really uh, established, but in that time uh, the smell rises and now there's a wonderful fresh, fruity, sherry cast smell on it. The oranges are more intense now. In the back there's already a little bit of oakiness. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. Still well above 45, 48%, probably around 50. And in the aftertaste, oakiness. So showing no age statement, this whiskey has uh, oakiness in it, a lot of, and showing spiciness, ginger, peppery note. Yeah, in the back, dried fruits. Very intense, wonderful whiskey. I had it weaker in the in memory from the past time, um, I did an experiment uh, many years ago. I took that whiskey, diluted it down, not this one, but the primer, prior, prior batches, um, and diluted it down to 40% and then let it rest until the next day, uh, covered of course, and then tasted it again and it was smoother, lighter, not that intense as the normal 10-year-old was. So I think they changed the recipe a little bit and took more uh, heavily or European oak sherry casks for the maturation. Yeah, wonderful piece. Yeah, ginger spiciness. Be aware that you might not get the batch 69 um, wherever you live, but those batches show differences, but not that big differences. So from the, the main character, they are the same, because if you're bottling 30k bottles, then you need an awful lot of casks, and this gives a leverage, leveraging effect on the whiskey taste, and the, the differences between those casks are minor or those batches are minor. The differences between single casks might be extreme, but the batches uh, will uh, level all that out. 
yeah, exotic spiciness. Probably a little bit dark chocolate on my tongue. Vanilla and caramel growing stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that very much. If you're interested in Abelauer, then have a look at whiskey.com. There in the whiskey database, there is a, a video uh, taken by my son uh, of the Abelauer distillery. Uh, very interesting, very nice. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.